So I'm Kit, uh, I'm the co-founder of Influx Press, a uh, small publishing house in London. Uh, we do about five or six books a year. Um, I also have authored some books myself. Uh, I'm not here to talk about them today. Uh, and also co-founded, I think, called Lost Lit uh, with Aki Shills. It's a monthly writing session on Twitter. Um, so Lost Lit is the hashtag, so you have, use the hashtag and L-O-S-S-L-I-T. Every first Wednesday of the month, nine o'clock to 11 o'clock in the evening in the UK, um, people write micro poetry, very short stories within the 140 character, character sort of limit um, about loss. It can be anything from grief to losing your keys to a football match to whatever. Uh, and so everyone all writes together at the same time across, across the globe. We regularly sort of trend in the UK, um, when The Apprentice is on, we're kind of just about below The Apprentice. When there's no Apprentice, tend to be quite high. Aki, who runs a, the literary consultancy, um, she had always been talking about um, canon, like literary canons as an idea of, you know, you have a Shakespeare canon and you have like the classics and whatever. And there, you might have Rome, and then you have genres, so romance, crime, literary fiction, whatever you want to call it. And she said there didn't seem to be canons for theme. And so she was developing this idea of loss in literature as a theme. And then I wrote a quite morose short story that was published and jokingly tagged it, lost it, and sent it to her. And then it just sort of started from there. And then we actually were writing to each other little stories and then other people started joining in until I think the first session went on for about six hours. And then it, we kind of were like, Okay, we were something here. And then we were like, okay, let's just make it first Wednesday of every month and see who joins in. So I found out that most people think digital means ebooks, um, which, I mean, technically an ebook is digital, but it's, it's not a digital way of writing. Because um, you just write a book as if you're writing a book for paperback and then it becomes in a digital format. So I think I kind of explained how online and digital can mean you can write differently. So if you take the Lost Lit example, 140 characters is your limit. There's a whole lot of brevity there you can play around with. Um, and also you've got things like visual verse, where they give you a picture and you respond to it within an hour. Um, uh, other things like that, which are very different to writing normally. You know, you're writing for a digital platform. And uh, I think that's, that was kind of interesting for the audience to hear. I mean, you don't make any money out of it. Uh, but it's, uh, I was kind of trying to explain it as a, like a creative exercise that helps you then develop your ideas and develop your craft and, and stuff like that, yeah. Well, we did announce something this week, yes. No, uh, yeah, we, just, we had quite a good year this year. We published um, a book called uh, Our Trib and Other Stories by Eddie Williams, which has gone down really well. Uh, a book on grime called Hold Tight by Jeffrey Boacci, which also did really well. Um, and a couple of others. And uh, we got a few coming next year, um, already settled. Um, but we also just recently opened up a submissions window for exclusively for women of color um, to submit to us because we're kind of lacking in that area in terms of our list. Uh, and we wanted to change that. Small publishers can change quicker than big ones. There's a, I can't remember who it was, I think it was uh, Scratcher or Scratchy or Scorcher or one of the grime artists once said, I don't know, it's Bashy, I think, he said, um, big ships take a long time to turn around. Um, and I think that applies to publishing. So we're kind of doing it in our own way. Uh, if people take inspiration from that, that's fine. Um, but it's been interesting to see the responses. Anybody who's working in publishing has generally gone like, oh, wow, that's great. And as soon as it gets out to the wider world, you then get people nitpicking it and saying, well, why, why are you banning white men and, uh, and all this kind of crap? And Influx is two white men and a black woman. Uh, you know, it's not exactly banning anybody from doing anything, but we're aware that in order to change anything, we have to change our, the way we work first, and then we can go on. Yeah.